Microsoft Word 2010, adding page numbering to a document. There are several different ways to add page numbers in Word. We're going to focus on the more simple way in this session, and in other longer tutorials, we do cover the longer method. So first of all, I'm going to go to my Insert tab if I want to insert page numbers. Now, the longer way of doing it is to go to either header or footer. I chose footer, and there's header. And we can come in here and choose what style we want and have it put the footer in and hope that the page numbering kind of works the way we want. And they may have a style in here that we like or we may not. Now, a more straightforward way of doing it is to come over to the page number button and choose bottom of page. And you can see that we can choose bottom of page on the left, in the center, on the right, or once again they get into these sort of footer options below that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just choose plain number 2, which is in the center. This will actually create a very simple footer, but it is a simple footer with very little formatting. If I want the word page before it, I would just type page and a space. If I want to format the numbers differently, I can now come to the page number drop down and choose format page numbers. Here I can choose a number style. I like the one, two, three, but I could, if I want the dashes before and after, I could choose that or letters or Roman numerals. And also, if I want to start at a different number, I can choose a different number to start at. And those are some of the options we have around page numbers. Let's go ahead and check out our page numbers. I'm going to click OK here and close out of the header and footer. And I can see the page one is at the bottom. Don't worry, it will appear gray because it's part of a header and footer, and I'm not in the header and footer. It will print black. And if I go to the bottom of page two, sure enough, page two is there. Page three should be there as well, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If I want to go in and take the word page out, I could double click any instance of the page numbering, highlight the word page, hit delete, and now I'm back to just having a number. And that's a simple way to add page numbering in Word 2010.